Cocktails from the 1980s don't usually scream refinement, balance and beauty, but Dick Bradsell's creation, the Bramble, is all of those things and more. This drink tells a story, has a unique aesthetic, and has an elegant simplicity that requires no adjustment. So today, we're gonna make a Bramble. For those of you unfamiliar with Dick Bradsell, Dick was one of the greatest bartenders of all time, really influential and was doing kind of things against the grain in the 1980s when creating cocktails like the espresso martini and also the bramble that we're talking about today. So there's actually a really nice story behind the bramble where Dick was working in Fred's bar in London and a supplier brought him in a bottle of this, which is creme de mule or a blackberry liqueur. And Dick grew up on the Isle of Wight and he'd pick blackberries as a child, eat them. He'd be covered in scratches and semi-dyed purple. And this bottle of creme de mule took him back to his childhood memories. And he wanted to create a drink around this, which really celebrated British produce. So Dick essentially made a blackberry gin sour using the creme de mur, gin, lemon juice, and also sugar syrup to provide some balance. And this drink is actually a really simple, elegant serve, which although it has really kind of simple foundations, punches way above its weight and it's a really iconic drink. So although you can shake this drink, I actually prefer to build it straight in the glass because we're gonna be serving it with crushed ice and if you shake it, you dilute it. You pour it over crushed ice, you dilute it even more. And I like to keep that dilution a little bit lower so we can always add dilution, but it's very difficult to take away. So in the base of the glass, we're gonna start with 50 mils of our gin. And this brings those really nice botanical notes. Again, a British product, which Dick was really trying to celebrate. And then we're gonna add our citrus, which I think Dick was a bit annoyed that doesn't grow in the UK and this is lemon juice. So this is a really nice kind of gin sour base, spirit, citrus, and sugar. And it's gonna be a little bit less sugar than we'd use in our four to two to one ratio, which we've used in a few other videos, primarily because we're gonna add the creme de mule, which has its own level of sweetness as well. So I'm just gonna go with 10 mils here, but you can adjust this according to your own taste preferences. And if you like things a little bit sweeter, add a little bit more. If you like things a little bit more dry, which actually works quite nicely in this drink, you can add a little bit less or even no sugar. Although it does get a little bit tart at that point, so I do recommend around about five mils minimum. So that's our classic bramble base, which we're gonna finish with the creme de mule. But there are lots of ways you can riff on this. You could introduce fresh fruit to the mix. You could muddle it into the bottom of the glass. Something seasonal, maybe blackberry when it's in season would be the obvious choice, but also raspberry works nicely, maybe strawberry. You can use different spirits. I've seen this made with Pisco before, which adds something completely different to it, or even vodka, which is a little bit more neutral. You can even use a different liqueur to drizzle with. So obviously creme de mure, blackberry liqueur is the really obvious choice, which is kind of classic for the drink, but you could use raspberry liqueur. You could use cherry liqueur. There are many different variations on this, and this is a really nice starting point. So as a pro tip now, as we're about to build the drink, we want to maximize the kind of impact of this. So you want to prepare everything. So our drizzle is as impactful as possible. So grab your straw, have that ready to go. I'm gonna garnish with blueberries because we don't have any blackberries, they're out of season at the moment. But this is kind of in the spirit of Dick's idea behind the drink, all about seasonality. These are what I could get hold of, they'll do a great job. And then we're just gonna take a little slice of lemon just to add a bit of color and a little bit of citrus to the drink. So now we've got our base, just wanna add our crushed ice. Don't go all the way to the top just yet. Just give it a little mix together to add some dilution and get all those flavors kind of knowing each other. Don't ever do that. Gonna add more crushed ice to kind of crown on top of the drink. So it's got that really nice impactful look. I don't usually do this, but we're gonna pre-straw, pre-garnish. And then the final thing we do, in Dick's words, is to add a lovely trickle of our creme de mure of the drink. And I like to add around about 15 to 20 mils. And if you're serving this for friends or even in a bar, you could take this as it is, take it to the table, like so, and then finish the drink with your creme de mule drizzle. So 15 to 20 mils in a jigger. This is gonna be a really nice kind of blackberry sweetness to the drink. And it's a very, very impactful and beautiful drink with it bleeding through. And there we have an absolute celebration of seasonality in British produce called a bramble. Cheers everybody.